Hey, Leah, Mariah here. It's a pleasure, honor, and a privilege to be reading for you today. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're doing really great. Hopefully you're in good spirits. So let's look into February. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling uh, really good about your energy. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for this. So let's switch decks here and let's see what's going on for you for February 2023. Let's see what's happening with our Leos. What is it that they need to, there's something about um, the signature scent, not, oh God, not, not to sound weird with this, but just hear me out. You know, sometimes I can go a little off, off the beaten path. Uh, there's a, what it feels like is a specific opportunity, but there's something about a fragrance, a scent. Uh, the best way we remember people is through smells. Leo, either there's something getting ready to come up where you have to make an impression, like a good first impression, or there's some new situation that you're being allowed to be a part of or opportunity, some form of event. But if you, if you don't have a signature fragrance, like some, it's, it, I'm, it's just coming down to where's something that's going to be memorable. There's something about a specific scent that if you wear it, during this event or during this opportunity, whether it's a job opportunity, whether it's an event and you're meeting somebody, um, whether it's a networking situation, but there's something about your the fragrance, whether it's a cologne or a perfume that's going to leave an impression where it's like, maybe I don't remember the full conversation I have with Leo, but I remember a scent, that, that scent of Leo. It's a, it, again, sometimes it's just a little weird on the messages, but that's just getting that out there. So let's, let's get into it, Leo. What is it for my Leos for the month of February, Spirit? We have a consciousness of lack. In the sacred temple. Okay. Uh, the saying, it's, how does it go? It's not cool not to try. It's not cool not to try. Why does it feel like we got the nine of pentacles, we got the temperance, and we also got the judgment here. Why does it feel like you are hesitant or resistant to try something? It's, it's, but it's stemming from like an insecurity. Um, and I think this is really interesting because you guys being Leos, you guys are looked at as confident, at least the stereotypes, right? Confident, brash, ego, this, that, whatever, all, you know, all the stereotypes people can really say about you guys. But at the core, a lot of Leos, the ones that I've met, people that I know my family, really sweet people, but there are insecurities within them. And we all have insecurities, not just Leos alone, but there's, there's an insecurity here, Leo, that is potentially blocking and something that could really be great for you. It's like, you want to try it. You want to give it a chance. You want to do it. But then it's like, we get in our head about, well, am I sure? I don't know if I want to, I don't know if this is gonna, you know, I don't want to embarrass myself. What if I try it and it doesn't work out? Or what if I do this and now I have to deal with the ramifications of it or, or just, just feeling insecure. I think of, uh, cause again, you guys are Leo's represented by the sun. So again, the stereotypes of uh, you guys love the attention and being in the spotlight and it's all about you. And the, if you really know a Leo, that couldn't be further from how genuine Leos operate. Not saying the ones that are, you know, out of their ego and not properly in balance, but sincere, genuine Leos don't really operate all about me, me, me. But it, you're being put in a position to be in the spotlight. You're being put in a position to take a chance and you want to, but it's it's like you're talking yourself off the ledge with something here. And that's what confuses me, because if I'm kind of going back into the cards, the nine of pentacles, judgment and temperance, there is no need to worry or really be concerned. And you have, and that's where I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I'm going to be honest with you, Leo. I'm kind of confused doing this reading. Now, only four minutes in, but I am. Because I don't get why there is a consciousness of lack, why we feel insecure about doing something, why we feel so uncertain or unsure. When I'm looking at the nine of pentacles and you have more than enough, whether it is the ability, whether it's the knowledge base, whether it's the skill sets, whether it's the talent, whether it's the personality, whether it's the adaptability, you know, you have your hard skills and your soft skills, you have what it may be that you need, right? In your arsenal. 
to take the chance to go in this direction. But we're right there and we're talking ourselves out of it. Or we may feel like, even if we're not fully trying to talk ourselves out of it, we may feel like, oh, well, I'm not good enough though. I, I'm, I'm sure this isn't gonna succeed. I would think it like a great example is like maybe somebody who wants to get into content creating, starting a YouTube or be on TikTok or Instagram. And it's like being consistent is too hard or thinking that, well, why would I get any type of notoriety when there's so many people in this niche or somebody that wants to start a business or somebody that wants to make a new way of uh, finances. I mean, it can be really in any avenue or area or even just wanting to try something that's on the bucket list that you have. Like maybe you always wanted to go skydiving, hell. And, but we're talking ourselves off the ledge. Let's look a little bit further, Spirit, from my Leos. Tell me more about this. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Holy crap. We got the three of wands. Tell me more about this energy from my Leos. Three of cups. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. What this reminds me of is somebody who they would feel more comfortable or more confident with having the, I, I hate to say approval, but having other people recognize what they're getting ready to do. and by that they feel more comfortable doing it i would kind of put it like this the reverse of peer pressure where we can have our peers pressure us to do something and we'll do it because of that pressure it's like the reverse of that it's like say for example leo you are wanting to leave your job and find a new way of making money but you're insecure about leaving that job because what if you don't find something that pays you more or something that's just as good and it's like if you were to get confirmation from a really trusted friend or somebody that's really close to you or somebody that you really love or even through like this like through tarot right being able to get that confirmation of you know what leo that's a good ass idea go ahead and leave that job out looking at the black whites pros and cons of this i think you're making the right decision and then that gives you the confidence to say you know what i am gonna leave this job i am gonna get up out of here but it, but that's what it comes down to it's almost like you're you would like to have some form of validation in regards to what it is that you're getting ready to do to understand or confirmation reassurance that what you're getting ready to do is the right thing even though you feel it but we're still having that mind of lack and scarcity where even though we feel that's the right thing to do we may be questioning it and because of that now we need validation from other people when you don't need any validation especially if you feel in alignment with with the decision you want to make um so this comes down to being able to really trust oneself and one's own instinct because if i'm looking at this being here the three of wands you can have all the validation you want, but I'm still looking at somebody here that's on the ledge, looking at the opportunity of making that decision or going in a specific route, but still waiting. So it doesn't matter whether through this video that you're watching right now, I'm giving you confirmation on something that you know you want to do, but maybe we're a little insecure about doing it. Or you ask a friend, colleague, a lover, you know, your husband, wife, doesn't matter who you ask, you're still going to be waiting on this ledge. So, this lets me know this is more of an internalized thing you have to work within yourself when it comes to your esteem when it comes to your confidence and also really believing in yourself we can tell ourselves we believe in ourselves we can tell ourselves we trust our intuition and our sense of faith but if our action behind it is wavering if our action behind it is it is not consistent with the words we speak out into the universe then you truly don't believe in what you say and this is asking you page of pentacles in a verse three of wands you're still waiting at that cliff and ain't moving to get this ace of pentacles that's i mean not ace of pentacles but page of pentacles that's in the reverse the the idea of that opportunity taking that step for further going in that direction and this doesn't have to be anything that's necessarily life changing as far as what we may be feeling insecure about starting but to whatever pedigree this is you gotta if you want to do it, you don't have to, but if you want to, you got to move, whether you get validation or not. Uh, anything else? Tell me more about this energy. If Leo was to just go ahead, take a leap of faith, follow their intuition, their gut, how does this play out for them? Let's see. 
We got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. We got the Page of Swords. Let's get a couple more. How does this play out for Leo? We have the Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Why does this all feel like a big secret? I'm not saying whatever this is that's making you feel insecure that you know you need to do or want to do is necessarily a secret, but I'm asking well, what would happen if you follow that path and it feels like if you did it, it would be something that you would keep very close to the chest, maybe even in secret. If you were to tell somebody, maybe like a family member, like somebody really close to you, and I mean really, really close to you, like a friend that you consider family, a family member, maybe husband, wife, your partner, that would be the only one that you would tell if you do tell anybody anything. Otherwise, this would be like, all right, I'm going to trust in myself. I'm going to trust in spirit. My ancestors, God, and whoever is leading me in this direction, I may have to go at it, eyes closed and, you know, running and hands in front of me. I can't see where I'm going, but I'm going to just go for it, right? I'm going to just do it. Just, but, but the direction, the action you're taking, Page of Swords, I love that, the, that this is here because it's not reckless. I'm not looking at the fool where you're doing something reckless. This is something that's calculated to a degree. You may have overanalyzed the situation, overanalyzed going in this direction, right? Because you have, with that Page of Swords, you've looked this through thoroughly and throughout. And you're very thorough about, okay, this is where I want to go. This is what I want to do. And I like the Four of Wands being here because it becomes... If you do move in that direction, you, you form some form of a stability, some form of foundation. You're able to create some form of infrastructure in that direction that you're moving towards. So say, for example, I'll give you one last example. We're back to the skydiving. Say if you wanted to always do something crazy, but you've always felt really insecure about doing it. It's like by, go ahead, by going ahead and doing it. Now you feel not only more comfortable within yourself, but now you've built that infrastructure of, okay, if I was able to do this and get over my fear, my insecurity of it, now I, there's nothing else that can stop me. I can take on the next thing. I can be limitless because I was able to overcome something that I felt really insecure about and I didn't let it stop me. So now I can take on something that may be much greater, a much more of a danger or something that may seem more significant. And because you got the lesson and because you built up that skill set of how to overcome those insecurities, now going further in new directions that may come up as puzzling or that make you have any reservations, you now have a memory bank to pull from because you did it before. Now you can do it again. I like this. I like this a lot for you, Leo. So. I wish you a lot of luck. Do not be in. I mean, I can tell you don't be insecure, but you, you're going to feel what you're going to feel. But push through it. Push through it because I like what it what it does for you. And I like the character that it builds further within yourself. So you got it. Leo, I love you. You take care. You be safe. You be well. And bye.